look at this. I found figured out a way to turn my hand th throttle into a foot throttle. So I'll just sit down, take my shoe off, or my sandal, and then I can just tap it with my foot. Don't need that wrench here though. Well, I say let's go for a little ride. First gear. Well. Look at that, grass. Well, it's official. Spring is now officially here. Yep, that's grass. I didn't know if that might be onions. You can see the green little, little tufts coming up through the ground. I can't wait for this to all be green, then I can start mowing again. Not good. Yep, this button fused solid. I might see if I can get my five dollars back for it then. But in the meantime, I figure a 500 volt 60 amp knife switch will do the trick. Let's go for a little ride then. speed then. I don't know if I want to go all the way down there though. This is kind of difficult.
don't know if I trust going over here with that thing. I might just back up. Okie dokie, so let's head back. It's a bit difficult to do this one-handed. Might not make it up this hill. Nope, ground's too wet. sticking on. Well, that was an interesting ride. The biggest issue I had was this seat sliding around on me. It's fucking wood. You know what? My welding jumper cables and my welding rods are always kind of just strewn around randomly. And I have this box that I got a long time ago that I don't use. I wonder if I can fit my welding stuff in there so it'll all be in one nice contained unit. Now, I can't really fit anything really good in here at this size, because it would be nice to keep the welding rods and little bits and pieces in the top and keep the cables in the bottom, so... Let's take that out. 
And I might knock this out too. That fits nicely. Although I'll put the extra spare ones in there first. Then we put in the two ones with the welding electrode holder on the end. Wow, that works nicely. Then these can go diagonally, I think. I might, I might want to cut off the, the top end of this, these containers. Oh, that fits nicely. That can, hey, that can even fit down like that. Awesome. Or I can crunch it down. That works too, just crunch it down into itself. Now these are probably wet, but oh well. They can still weld in the pinch. Or act as cotter pins. Those work great for that too. Let's see, I think a welding magnet would, would go in there nicely. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And my file or my grinding thing to grind away rust. I should get an angle grinder someday. But that works okay. I believe that's it. I'd say that is a nice little welding kit I've made. I just might want to fix the uh, latches so it actually does latch. There we go. Awesome. I'm trying to get ready because spring's coming, or spring's almost already here. You know, come to think of it, maybe I could just keep my, my batteries out here also. Because as it is now, I've been just leaving my batteries out because it's starting to stay above freezing. Well, I don't feel like taking them out uh, all the way around the front, into the basement and charging for a day, then walking them all the way back out here. So maybe I'll clear out some room down here, and I'll wire up all the batteries I have here in, in parallel, so they're at 12 volts. And then I can use this small 4 watt solar panel to charge them whenever I'm not using them. That should be more than enough power because, to be honest, I don't use that many watt hours of electricity when I weld. I just use short bursts every, every couple days. So th this could probably power all of my power needs for my welding. Now I just need to make a waterproof container for that. And I'd probably have that sitting somewhere over there in the wood pile and just having the wire trailing down here. You know what? I actually have a lot of windows, and those would make great waterproof containers. So, I took out one window, and I washed it, and it's pretty clean. I found these in a the dumpster, so <laughs> pretty nice find. I think I might whip something up with that. Well, guess what? My neighbor, so that I could have all that junk in his backyard, already found a piece of metal and a satellite dish. Let's see what else we get. There is a weed eater. Awesome. He said he was just he didn't want any of that stuff, so I'll clear it out for him. Do something with that. Let's get my handy hook. Pan. Lawnmower.
This bed box spring thing will be nice for angle iron and springs and bits of metal. I believe that's all I can get fr from it for now, but I'll just come over here for, for parts if I ever need. Got some windows over there and some glass. I wanted to take some of the sheet metal that I have and make like a carport here for my lawnmowers and stuff and my bikes and whatnot. And then I can organize my junk better. And maybe I should start making a video series of like what to do with your old like car tires or what to do with your old laptop or whatever. And try to figure out something to do with car tires because I really have too many car tires and I think a lot of other people have too many car tires. I don't know what to do with them. Anyway, so I'm putting these bricks down below my workbench and I'm making them level so so the workbench sits okay that's level enough for me Come to think of it, I'm going through all this trouble to preserve the bottom from rotting, but I think I'm going to tear up the top a lot sooner than that. Oh well, either way, I'm taking the proper precautions to preserve my work table. And now for the final test. Now that is level enough for me. Well, isn't that foundation for all my items just beautiful? put bricks down and then above above the bricks in this spot I put other bricks and but over here I put some a plank of wood that I had laying around that should make sure that nothing rots that I put there so this is how it's it looks I think it looks pretty awesome now let's get on to build uh, hooking up the solar panel to charge the batteries So that's my first method for, for keeping the solar panel waterproof. It may actually be waterproof by itself though, so <laughs> I don't know. But this is an extra added protection. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!